Almost right off the bat, I get to talk about some of my favorite features of my Creative Cloud license, one of which being the fact that I get access to up to 100 fonts being able to be synced on my system at one time, meaning that I can download fonts absolutely free from the type kit to work with inside of my Adobe After Effects projects. Now you might be thinking, well, Kev, I know the way that a lot of these canned elements work, whether they're fonts or whether they're other elements, and they're never really as good as going out and finding your own on the internet. Well, let me tell you, you're gonna find fonts inside of the type kit that have been used in high-end Hollywood movie trailers, so this is definitely something not to overlook. Now, you'll notice right away that I do already have some fonts synced on my system for me to work with inside of After Effects, and I'm gonna show you how you can find them in just a second, but what I wanna do before we do that is actually download a font to show you how the whole process works. Now we're not gonna manage fonts, I'll get to that in just a second. What I wanna do is to sync a font from Typekit. Now once I click on that, you'll now see I'm brought immediately to the Typekit and I'm logged in as me right now. So what I can now do is I can either come in and go through all of the fonts. You'll see page one of 72, that's a lot of fonts to go through, or if I happen to know the name of the font that I'm looking for, all I have to do is simply come up to the search type kit window and I'm gonna type in the name of the font and in our case, it's going to be Trajan. I'm gonna type in Trajan, I'm gonna press enter. You'll now see that I have the choice of three different fonts. I have Trajan, Trajan Color, and Trajan Sans. I'm gonna choose the first Trajan and once I select it, you'll now see that I can come in and I can choose to either purchase this version of Trajan or I can utilize one of the two free versions that I have access to right here. You'll see the sync button means that this is included inside of my Creative Cloud license. So don't worry, this isn't just one of those, oh look, here's the font that you want. Now you have to pay for it. If you see that green sync button, you can simply click on it. And what's gonna happen is, is that in a matter of seconds, that font will be synced onto your system and ready to work with. How do I know this? Well, I'm just gonna hide Chrome for just one second. I'm gonna come back to the Creative Cloud application and I'm gonna drag down towards the bottom and you'll now see there's Trajan Pro 3 synced on my system and ready to work with. But let's say hypothetically I didn't want a font. Let's use Petersburg Web as an example. What I'm gonna do is navigate up to the Manage Fonts button and I'm now gonna be brought to a page that's gonna show me all the synced fonts on my system. And the one that I didn't wanna have synced anymore, Petersburg Web, all I need to do is to simply say unsync, and what's gonna happen when I hide out and come back to the Creative Cloud application, you'll see that that font has now disappeared. So this is now how you can get in and work with up to 100 fonts. If you have 100 fonts synced, you can simply get in, unsync the ones you don't want, and sync new ones. Now, the question is, how do we get access to these fonts inside of After Effects? I'm just gonna close the Creative Cloud application, and I'm gonna navigate over to the Character panel. And inside of the character panel, you'll see that if I drop down the fonts, I can come through and choose one of these fonts to work with, or what I can do is simply filter by the Typekit fonts, and there's all of those fonts that I had access to inside of the Creative Cloud application, now available to me right inside Adobe's After Effects. All right, let's move on now, and let's talk about working with some fantastic free elements that you can download to get yourself up and running nice and quick.